That thing's loud. Droney. <laughs> yeah, just ask them when you come back if they have any available slots. Oh, I saw their list was fucking packed. Huh? Their list was packed. Yeah. Well, it is. Are we jumping on? What are we doing? Yeah, they had to find the key. <laughs> well, is that what you were saying? Hey? Was that what you were saying? Yeah, they, they had a key that didn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I suppose we go to our bikes. Yeah. Fuck, this feels high. This doesn't even look like it's not on. Yeah, it's different. Nice to hit up to 72. Alright, so I'll stop. You're on full time or tracking control one, track quick shift is on, so you're good to go as well. Alright, All right. cool. Thank you. Jeez, I don't even feel this motor. There's no vibrations whatsoever. In fact, this clutch lever is really far out. There you go, much better. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I gotta get used to this higher foot pedal position again. Is this normal shift pattern? Yeah. yeah. Mm. 
Yeah. Got the same mirrors that I had on my uh, ZX10. Jesus. God, it feels weird to be in this forward position again. Where does it say? Oh, it says my gear in the top, top left. Second ride day, my favorite Kawasaki ride day, riding the H2 SX. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Fuck, this shifter is in a really precarious spot. It's actually a freaking weird position. Sick, mate. <laughs> What's going on? Fuck. The shift rod is in a really bad position for me. Oh man, this is ridiculously smooth. Fuck it's Wow That quick shifter is like so smooth even at low RPM. I wonder if it has downshift quick shifting. Yeah it does. <laughs> that is fucking cool. That's like automatic. We gotta get used to this clutch, it only engages like right on the exit. What the fuck? <laughs> fuck it hell. This thing is so fucking smooth. Well, fucking listen to that bloody spool. It's a bit heavy feeling though. Doesn't, uh, definitely not as uh, quick to flick over as my ZX10 was. Man, he's got some new. I got my mate, my mate Scott here with me, riding the uh, ZX14 right now in front of me there. He's got brand new tyres on, so he's got to be real careful. 
Me on the other hand, I got shit tires on, so I can just flog it. What is this information I'm reading? That's like the ride height business. Interesting. I could still see that it is slightly sporty forwardness would still be a bit painful on my wrists. Like over long distance, I mean, at the moment it's pretty good. This quick shifter is like so smooth though. That little spool and the chirp it sounds cool. So windy today though, Jesus. I keep, like, because I'm so used to shifting normally, I keep backing off on the power thinking that it's a, uh, Uh, basically like a like I'm trying to dog box shift it rather than using the quick shifter the way it's supposed to be used It is so stiff though. I'm not real fond of that. It's like an effort to try and get the thing to roll over. But this thing, I really cannot hear the motor running. Like, I uh, hear it. Let me rephrase. I can't feel the motor running. Like, there's just, there's no vibrations whatsoever from the motor, even at a standstill. Well, you should be able to feel the motor running underneath you at, at an absolute standstill but there was nothing like it's been dampened so much that yeah you can hear it running but you can't feel anything it's very odd I do like the information on screen though it's got a lot of uh, interesting things there the odometer only has 453 kilometers on clock this is practically a brand new bike Where are we going? Eastern Creek. Ah, we're supposed to go that way. Oh, fogging up my screen. Ugh, I feel so weird. Hey! <laughs> Hell, this thing is fucking spastic. <laughs> I'm gonna need a bloody tighter fitting helmet at this rate. The 
Kommst du da, Turbo? These induction sounds, man. Creepy bullying. Ah, I got a cramp. Jesus. That is absolutely freaking insane. Who the fuck think that is normal? My ZX never even freaking accelerated anywhere near that speed. It was that's incredible. Wow, holy shit. This bike's fucking spastic. <laughs> That's it, this bike is insane. Yeah, it is, eh? Oh, mate. Any gear, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it's on the line up on the back photo. Yeah. This thing's fucking spastic. <laughs> so much acceleration, it's crazy.
man. I'm in love with this black. Fucking listen to that. Man, Kawasaki did got this bike right. It's probably so stiff in the steering because of the fucking level of acceleration this thing has is absolutely insanity. I thought the Duke had some acceleration and it does, but this is a whole completely different level. It's a whole completely different level of spastic and I can't imagine those people that are tuning these things to have 260 horsepower like Jesus freaking Christ mate on the street you don't need that much power you don't even need this much power where is it Ron? Yeah, right. Doesn't like finding second gear from first though. I mean, neutral. Huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> They're probably too busy having fun and they forget where they are. <laughs> The seat needs to be wider for my ass, so I've got a big ass. Nah, fuck that. That guy took a big risk there, I'm not doing that, it's like that. There was a shoulder there. A bit of a loose, uh, I could see that there was like a lip, and I know if I hit that at speed I'd be uh, up shit creek.
Well, uh, like it's been a bit enough time to uh, to see whether or not my uh, wrists are going to get sore from this type of bike, and they're a little bit of discomfort, but it's excuse me, it's uh oh excuse me again, it's not uh, it's not painful. It's very I don't know, it is comfortable, but I'm actually getting more pain in my ass because of the way that this seat is angled going at slow speeds like this the seat isn't really designed for it because it's obviously designed to hold you in place when you're doing those ridiculous speeds it's um yeah it's uh, at, at low speed you sort of you can feel that your ass skin and ass hairs are fucking getting pulled back while your body's trying to move forward it's un a little bit of unpleasancy, but if you just sit right up hard against the tank, which is a bit difficult with the men having nuts, especially if you hit a bump, but this bike, um, the bumps on this bike is exceedingly smooth, and it want to be considering this is the touring model of the, uh, the H2. So, the, dam the, the damping of all the, uh, the heavy hits and that, this is actually very comfortable. I'm, I'm impressed with this bike. I'm going to guess that that there is an indication on uh, the bike where it's sitting sort of mid-level. And I dare say this has some amounts of... Uh, I, I haven't read up too much onto this model. But I'm going to guess it has some sort of an electronic damping system that like obviously changes if you start driving like crazy. Um, then it obviously stiffens things up a bit but while you're driving smooth like this the computer sees that and obviously uh, softens it up because this is uh, this is a pretty incredible ride I'm still getting uh, for my height I'm still getting a lot of wind buffeting like it's it's all right it's not too bad It's dealable, that's for sure. It's relatively about similar sort of bike in front of you as a ZX. The ZX is probably a little bit lower. This sits a lot higher. Um, but it feels about the same amount of bike in front of you. Oop, slow down there, bro. I'm not paying attention to what's in front of me. Um, so you do get the same sense of this is a big bike when you're on it. But it definitely does not handle as in accelerate like something that you would think was heavy. Except for, you know, obviously flick flickability. It's very, uh, it's very tough when you're doing 90 kilometers an hour to flick the bike over. Very quiet, but I think I definitely need to get some strong, stronger padding in my helmet because I think my helmet's so worn right now that it's become actually loose on my head. It doesn't like shifting into neutral from first gear. Fucking epic. <laughs> it's insane. I just like how it's it basically performs like a super sport, but it's comfortable and smooth. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck 
this quick shifter is so smooth, man. Jesus, it's hard to get off. 